this place gets talked up so much. This is dumb. Right, turn around. Holy f- Hello and welcome back to another episode of Road to the Draft. We're at a very prestigious school, yep. Hayden. You're lucky to be down here, yeah, obviously, with your circumstances. Yep. Um, who are we here with today, mate, first of all? Um, You're well, back in, by yeah, the way. I am back in, yep. so that's a big one, obviously. Had that week off to just sort of recover, get the yep. mind, body, everything right. Yep. Zero so wins for you. Stoked to be here. Um, well, every day that I get to meet these new blokes is a win for me. Okay. Seb, I don't, I don't like to count things as wins or losses, because then you sort of get caught up in the grand scheme of things. Right. But regardless, Seb, yep. very prestigious place, as you mentioned. And got two guests you might actually recognise, not maybe Ooh. them, but Ooh. the surnames. Oh, Seb. yes, yes, you, you recognise them obviously through some uh, family. Yep. So hey, who we got? We got Jesse Motlop and Corey Warner. Boys, Corey. come in. Hey, oh, there they are, geez. boys. Hey, Hello, how are you? Good how are you? Jesus, we messaged Chad and we messaged Stephen, yep. but no one was available, so we had to do yeah. with uh, <laughs> next best. Boys, how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. good. How are you, boys? Oh, Fantastic. Very good. Now, said we got another big day in store, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. We, we're returning with Pig, our second duo for the year, so it's going to be huge. Jesse you obviously got some talents in the forward line. Have you been working on your craft maybe a little bit even more lately? Just yeah. Just the pig game. Yeah, been bringing out a few tricks lately. Um perfecting all the skills and um, getting ready for this game of pig. Yeah. Just to know that it won't be enough yeah. for you, Corey. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Obviously, you know the people around you, all three very talented forwards. You know, how are you feeling about yeah, all this? Yeah, well, as a midfielder, you know, I've been having to work in the forward line a bit this week, so I've been down with Jesse, uh, kicking some goals, so just perfecting the skills, so yeah. Fantastic. All right, let's get into it. All right, skills drill time. You know, obviously, Seb and I, we've been upping our skills every week, so it'd be pretty nerve-wracking for you, boys. You don't want to get shown up this early but got a mid got a forward so we thought we'd incorporate that jesse what are we doing um we're just going to work back to the to the um pack and we're just going to be coming a few balls so um what you want to do is you want to work up as a forward and lead at your target usually you don't get used so to kick get kicked over and um, I suppose you'll just be at the feet of the ball. All right, now Seb, you and I, obviously, when you're not a very good footballer, you just get put in the forward pockets. Yep. We're used to this. Yeah. Corey, you done much of this? Oh, yeah, absolutely. No. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. now we've got a bunch of perfect blokes doing us. Let's get into it. <laughs> You know, I could be nice and I could say, you know, these blokes are probably better than their brother, Chad, uncle, whatever, but 
there's been a lot of, a lot of chirp going on in the group chat pre, uh, pre-recording, so, you know, these folks are worried about being the best here. They should just worry about being the best in their family for now. I'll tell you what, Hayden is just very lucky he's allowed to be this close to a school. Oh, I'll tell you what, I can Jesse got me in the coming, but I've got to let him win something, so I've got him come for pig. All good. Tom stopped taking it easy on the two boys now. Chad's not really an issue. Oh, sorry, I'm at, I'm at Corey. Time for a game pig. All right, warm-up's done. Some would say it was a bit more than a warm-up. It it's knackered me now. High intensity, yeah. High intensity, uh, boys. We're here now. How are you feeling, Corey? Oh, feel? I've got to say a bit nervous, if I'm being honest. Like, yep. I was pretty excited at the start, but you know, really getting the nerves up now. Same oh, because you've seen yeah. the skill level. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. Jesse, now obviously you have the second best podcast here. You might uh, end up finishing, you know, second best if you're lucky today. <laughs> Do you think second is just a common theme? Is it one you want to keep continuing today? Oh, uh, not really, boys. To be honest, I'm not too too scared at the moment. Um, okay. I've seen the way you boys are training, so um, Corey's not an issue either. So. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> good. All right. So basically, I'm doing a 45 degree angle set shot. On the, the snap from the pocket. of being the second best podcast is getting to him. Deadly discussions to the footy yard. It's, it's coming. See Jesse coming in as short favourite, dollar two. It's now probably increased out to that eight dollars. Hayden's firmed right in. We're going snap from the pocket. myself in a corner by talking a lot of smack today um, so there's only one way out of that and that's tripling your way through this is from deep down in the tri trick bag Uh, 
our sets yet. I have to say, probably one of the better games of yeah. we've had this year. But, um, you know, Jesse has gone from second best podcast, second best year, to second best podcast, best year. So, congrats, <laughs> Jesse. You, Great win. Um, obviously, pulled it out with a little flick. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, I'm over the moon, you know. Um, I was right at the bottom. Um, pretty sure I was only one on PI. And, um, coming from the bottom to, to take out the lead and, and win the game, it, it's an awesome feeling. All right, and Corey yourself, obviously, made it all the way to the end and then Jesse decided that he didn't want to play any games anymore. The second that flick happens, what was going through your head? Yeah, I mean, he, he really turned it on, didn't he? And uh, it, it hurts. I've got to be honest, it does hurt. Now, Hayden, you were on today, mate. Yep. It, there's no doubt about that. You were yep. nailing everything. The one that got away? Uh, look, you know, obviously you know it's your best and your best isn't good enough. Yeah, and I think that's that what hurts, hurts most. That but at the end of the day, what doesn't hurt is making friends. Yeah. All right, that's us done. Um, you know, obviously, there's a lot of talk going on over there. I think I was the majority of it yeah. and um, didn't back it up. Jesse went quiet a bit and then decided to back up. So now we'll get into some questions. Obviously, we saw a lot about what you boys were out there. Um, Corey, we'll let you start going this way. Position on the footy field, you know, that the way you play footy, what are you, what are you all about? Yeah, well, uh, this this year I've gone into the inside, but I like to be uh, balanced both on the inside and the outside. Uh, occasionally half forward as well, but yeah, I like to break the lines of the games and uh, use my skills, so yeah. Yeah, no, I'm usually a forward. Um, I've played pretty much all, all this year in the midfield. Um, I'm loving that at the moment, just to, I guess, add some versatility into my game and um, explore other areas in my game, like using strength and, and body work, and I'm enjoying that at the moment, so yeah. Beautiful. Now, we'd like to know about your journey through the junior ranks and what led you to where you are today. Jesse, you start us off. Yeah, so um, year seven, oh, sorry, year three to year nine, played for the South Korea Junior Football Club. Um, went through all the development squads at South Fremantle and um, ended up at Aquinas from in year seven and I've been enjoying my time here and year 10 was lucky enough to play first um, and been playing here ever since. Yeah, I started at Willis and Blues. I actually played played against Jesse back in the day a bit when we were a bit younger and then uh, obviously similar to Jesse, came to Aquinas but uh, I'm at East Rio so yeah, yeah. Okay, and we, we love goal setting here, you know, that's what we're all about as two blokes who can never achieve any of the goals we no. set. You two probably could though, so looking forward to this year, have you set any goals for what you want to achieve? Yeah, well uh, obviously I wanted to, my first goal was to be the captain of Aquinas, which I got that done, so yeah, I was pretty happy with that. And uh, probably the next one would be to make the state team, I'd be pretty stoked to get into that. And uh, yeah, obviously the big goal at the end of the year to get drafted would be, would be amazing, so yeah. Yes. Yeah, pretty similar to um, Corey, uh, went for captain, lucky enough to get vice-captain um, beside Corey and um, just really get a consistent year throughout this year in um, PSA and Colts footy. Um, I'm in the st state 19s at the moment and um, yeah, like Corey said, that, that ultimate goal at the end of reaching the draft and hopefully being on an AFL list. Now both your, na your last names, we should say, mean something in footy at, at some point. Jesse, first of all, Stephen, Daniel, what have they sort of inspired you to do uh, throughout your career? Because obviously you can see that a little bit of the talent has rubbed off out there. Yeah, I guess just from a young age, um, I guess I was probably kicking a footy before I could walk and um, Dad just introduced me to footy really early and um, I've loved the game growing up and um, I guess they've shown me the ways and uh, the paths and their mistakes that not mistakes, sorry, um, just things to avoid and um, I guess make it to the big time. Yeah, yeah for me it'd be with my brother, um, Chad, probably just makes it like a real sort of realistic thing, like I can look at him and say, yeah, he can do it. So being like um, up against him when I was younger makes it like sort of possible, I guess, for me. So yeah. Obviously taking the piss out of him a fair bit, obviously, oh, made you believe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah, got yeah, it in yeah. Yeah. Now, play. you know, Aquinas, it's one of the top footy schools in WA. Um, you know, maybe private school footy isn't as prestigious as it is in Victoria, but there's been a lot of big names to come through here. In your time alone, there would be some big names getting picked up. Is it inspiring to see these blokes? Did you look up to them and learn from them in your younger years here? And what's it like balancing, you know, that get, getting that balance act between private school footy and Waffle Colts? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like uh, A lot of the boys, like Logan and that, Jeremy, Trey, we got to play with them when we were in year 10 uh, at Aquinas. So yeah, that was awesome, just seeing them at school. and getting to train with them, their high standards. And uh, I guess the balance, yeah, when we can play Colts, we play Colts. But um, yeah, obviously Aquinas takes takes preference. So yeah, we're pretty happy to play here when we can. So yeah. yeah. Um, seeing, you know, the Indigenous boys when I was a bit younger, Jared Cameron and um, Jason Carter, they worked their way to two WA teams. And um, I guess just seeing them at those, on the big stage, and it really makes you, um, you know, want to achieve those goals that, you know, you've seen them around school and now they're out there playing AFL. And, 
you know, I guess um, you just want to be out there as well. Yep. Now we're three weeks into the season at the time of recording. How have you felt about your start to the season, Jesse, first? Um, yeah, no, it's going well at the moment. Like I said before, I've been playing a bit, bit of midfield, so um, that's going well and just adding that versatility into my game. Um, I'm a bit too comfortable up forward now, so um, I guess trying to get the midfield um, right is, is another aspect of my game. Yeah, um, uh, playing off the wing last year, I've been pretty happy to uh, break into the inside, especially at East Frio. It's just been really good and I can uh, show that balance, which I've yeah, been real happy with so far, yeah. OK, well, that does us for today, boys. Wrap things up. It was great to have you both on. Um, final words, Jesse, uh, you know, obviously you're, you're big in the podcast game as well. If you just want to give a little shout-out, tell the people where to go and we can wrap things up. Yeah, um, Deadly Discussions, go check and it out. Cut.